You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have a good friend of mine who has done a lot of good volunteer work for the community in Brockton, Nancy Crucius. Hi, Nancy. How Hi. are you? Good. How are you? Tom? Good. Welcome back. Um, Thank you. Summerfest. Yes. Another year. Another year. Seventh. Seventh year. Okay. Summerfest started a long, long, long time ago. In the 70s. And I remember doing, when I first was at Cable in 83, that was the first one I did. Charlie Bergeron was there. Yep. Linda Belzotti was on the crew. Long yep. time ago. Summerfest went on for years. Mm -hmm. Then it kind of took a break. It did. Then it came back. It was Summer Sunday in the Park Summer in Sunday between. in the Park. Yeah, okay. it's been a couple of different things. But Summerfest is bigger and better than ever, right? That's true. Okay. A lot you, more activities. You were telling me, I was looking at the list of performers and everything, and it looks like there's about 22, 24, some, someplace in the 20s, yes. number of performers yes. all over the place. You all got over the place. We have full bands, we have solos, we have duos, we have dance troops, uh, we have a ladies um, barbershop quartet. Mm -hmm. We've got the this, this swinging singers from the uh, um, senior center here in Brockton. Right. So there is a lot of music. A lot of music this and year. And I saw Loud and Clear on there. My friend Amy Coram's yes. involved with yes. that. Yeah. Um, there's just music galore. And it's going to be in the Azure Calf, in the Green Calf, in the... Um, there's a staging area outside. And if the weather holds, yep. it'll be outside. Yep. If it doesn't, thank you for having a weather contingency yes. plan. Because for us, cameras don't mix with water. Neither does electrical information right. that we need for the sound. Right. So, yeah, and we have to. So, you get all that going on. We have an art show over in the fine arts. Yes, the Brockton schools uh, provide us with the winners of the different class, of all the classes from K through 12, and we post them all in the um, lobby of the fine arts. Mm -hmm. And then they are judged again, and they are awarded prizes and, uh, and ribbons at one o'clock. One o'clock. And now, when I went to Brockton High School, Brock, I'm dating myself. Brockton High was five years new at the time, okay? Yes. We had a really killer planetarium, and it's mm -hmm. back. It's back. And it's going to be open. It's going to be open. They refurbished it. It's beautiful. There's going to be um, a show every half hour starting at 1030, mm -hmm. uh, on the half hour and on the hour. It's a 20-minute show. I think there's like 60, I think there's 60 people that can go in at a time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's, it's, it's beautiful. They've done a really nice job with it. Now, besides music and mm -hmm. entertainment yes. and planetarium and art, there's all sorts of vendors and all sorts of crafts there's, and all sorts yes. of tables. Yes, there's crafts. Give us a flavor. For, there's a crafts for the kids. We have sand art, we have book making bookmarks, we have hand print flowers, making a storybook, um, they're going to make sun catches, uh, there's a caricature artist, there's also face painting and nail painting, and um, we have all hands drumming coming and they're going to do workshops on mm -hmm. um, drum, drum circles. Um, there's just there's so much. There's absolutely so much going on. That's good. The kids road race. The kids road race is okay. going to happen at 11 o'clock. Dave Gorman is going to run that for us. Okay. That's at 11 o'clock. Um, and that we're also going to be collecting donations for school supplies for the schools. So if anybody would like to bring um, school supplies, we are going to have a box um, right at the opening when you come in at the welcome table they can drop things off so oh, that's a try, good idea. trying to help the teachers and because you, know. you don't pay to get into Summerfest nope. Summer so Fest your, is your, free. your price of admission if you will yep. is please bring please school bring, supply please bring a school supply because yep. the more you bring if you think about it at the beginning of the year for a lot of parents it's we tough. have a community where people work sometimes two three jobs yes they have multiple kids school supplies aren't cheap. They no. sort of mark them down a little bit around start of school, but if you go out and buy a regular notebook at a regular price, they add up. And especially you have more than one child. And now you need a backpack. And, and, yeah, and, and a lunchbox. And a lunchbox. And uh, you got to have uh, the clothes. You know, when I, yeah. I know people yeah, want to donate clothes. It gets expensive for the family. It, so it does. This, this is just trying to help them out with some um, supplies, pencils, rulers, notebooks. You know, anything that someone would need, what the kids would need. And it's for K through 12. So it's, you know, whatever, whatever someone can donate would be great. There's a lot of people donating right now for school supplies. And we're just trying to help out um, at Summerfest, be a collection point. It's nice. Now, okay. you have a very active Facebook page, right, for Summerfest? I do, And yes. you're the one doing the postings? Um, 
I don't. I don't post on Summerfest. Yeah. That is Jocelyn and Lauren. Okay. They post on Summerfest. Okay. I post on my own. Okay. Um, but I also post on uh, Thunderbolt Productions, which is our sound equipment, uh, sound uh, business. Yeah. I post on Brockton Hub, East Bridgewater Hub, West Bridgewater Hub, and East Bridgewater Free Hub. Those are the ones that I can I've get just, onto. I've just seen yeah. it a whole bunch of times. Yeah. And, and it looks good. And, you know, why wouldn't I be surprised that Lauren is still involved? Lauren still involved. hasn't been in the mayor's office f since... The last mayor, right? But she's still involved. She's still Jocelyn involved. Jocelyn worked at the yep. school department. She's, she's still, still involved. involved. Yep. Jean Mack, who retired, is still involved. Jean is not retired. Jean oh, still she works hasn't. at the high school. Oh, I thought yep. she retired. Jean okay. Rowan retired. Jean Rowan retired. Yep. But, Jean but you have a committee of volunteers yep. that has been working on this nonstop. You did last year's Summerfest and maybe we took a little break and then started meeting up again. No, no break. No break. Okay. We meet the day, the Wednesday after Summerfest, to go over what we what happened. Um, this year, or the previous, this the current year, and then in September we start again on the next one, and in November and December I'm already contacting bands um, mm -hmm. for the following year because I have so many requests. It's unbelievable. Um, oh. I have daily people ask to participate, so it's great. Well, if you think about it, not everybody vacates Brockton during the summer. A lot no. of people are still working, they don't have a lot of vacation time, or maybe they used it up on a school vacation mm -hmm. and they can't take the summer off, and they stick around here and there's something to do. There is. And yeah. besides Summerfest, a couple of weeks later they do DBAM Fest. That's so, true. Um, it's good civic-minded mm -hmm. people in Brockton that work really hard to, to, to do this. We've been there, I mean, I go back all pretty much all the way. I had a little hiatus when I left Cable in Brockton and went over to Foxborough and Sharon, but I still went. Right. I just right. wasn't there with the camera. We have camera. a lot of repeat uh, families, and we usually get between two and three thousand people coming. Um, there's, like I said, there's lots to do for the kids, um, and the music. We've got some great bands coming in. Um, we have Bayside High from Plymouth. They're, um, they play all over Plymouth. We've got uh, the Angry Bees, and um, they play at Harry's Westgate, and right. they, they play Doyle's. Um, we have a new band, Black Vinyl, out of Bridgewater. They're just starting up, um, but they're really, really good. We have a Stonehill student, Brooke Hindle. Uh, she's country, um, but she's got an unbelievably beautiful voice. The Formidables are, are the Lady um, Barbershop Quartet. They are, they've been with us, I think, four or five years now, mm -hmm. and they love coming back. Um, Lisa Villani and the Boxwood Saxophones, they come every year. Uh, like you said, loud and clear with Amy Corum. Um, that they've they've just started up now. I think it was in June, and they've been playing all the local all the local places. So it's really it's been it's been great. The I the I um, got the one minute queue. Oh, believe it or not. So, okay. uh, website phone number, real quick. You get thirty seconds. I get to say goodbye. Okay. There's no phone number. Okay. Uh, website is Summerfest Brockton. Um, and nope. No, Summerfest Brockton is the Facebook, sorry. Uh, the website is www.brocktonfirstfoundation.org. Oh, that's right, First Foundation, because yeah, you changed the, the name around. Yeah, we changed it to the First around. Foundation because okay. Brockton First. Brockton what, First, there you what, go. That's what we're well, look, about. thanks for doing what you're doing. We're going to be there, but it's better to go there. It's better to go there. Okay. It's a lot of fun, a lot of, lot of stuff happening. 10 to 3. It's free. Sunday, August 19th. Saturday. Saturday, August 19th. Thank Saturday, you. August 19th. We'll, we'll post it. It'll okay. be up there. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.